Welcome back to another tutorial on Clo3D to Blender and in this tutorial I'll be giving you 5 um, tips or 5 things you need to do to get a realistic design on Blender after exporting your Clo design from Clo3D something similar to what you can see on your screen right now either a multiple design or a one piece design I'm going to break everything down for you in this video so please watch this video to the end so before we continue don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell to watch more videos so let's begin so as you can see this is an avatar on screen right now with no clothes so what you need to do first is depending on the number of clothes you are going to design or the avatar is going to put on i'll advise you to pack them as you are designing after designing each um, piece you want to place on so on your on your avatar so um let's assume i want to design a shot here i just want to drag and drop to make this tutorial faster so what i need to do is to just um let me just select this then i'm going to select open size and post to so that it can fit the avatar as you can see this is it right now so let's assume i've designed this shot on this avatar now but then I'm still going to design a t-shirt or probably extra accessories. I'll be extra design on the avatar depending on your choice. So what you need to do first is to go to the UV editor. I'll first arrange this particular design so that it's going to reduce the stress because in this process, you might you won't be able to use these um, features because this feature is just going to allow you to pack your um, design in one place, but you need more than one box for you to get a realistic design. So the first thing you need to do is to UV pack it manually. But this, since it's only one um, piece that is still on my, uh, one design that is still on my character, I can use this method. So what I'll do is to apply. So and I'll close this. So I can just drag this to another box. Any of the box, I can drag it to the third box. Let me see. I can just drag it to one of these. And let me just shrink it a bit. So, okay. Okay, okay, let's assume this is fine now. So, the next thing I want to do here is to add a t shirt. So, what I'll do is just to search for, let me look for any t shirt I can find here. I'm coming. Any random t shirt. Or let me just search for t shirt. Okay. Uh, let me just use one of these that I am seeing right now on screen. So, let me just use this. And let me just drag this then i'll select add i'm going to select okay then let me just open it as you can see this is the next thing we need to do so um so as you can see i've added the um sweatshirt so what i'll do next is to let me just drag it into a separate position so um let me simulate this but then i need to make increase the layer i'm um, sorry increase the layer for this this select this and select this yes then select this then i'll increase the layer to one and then i'm going to simulate this then select your space bar to stop the simulation i'm going to change the, them back to um zero so this is fine then what i'll do next is to go to my uv editor then i have to do this manually okay this is even properly arranged can you see it's even properly arranged so but if it's not properly arranged for you what you need to do you have to do it manually because if you select all of them and you ask this to do it it's going to scatter it's going to place everything sorry in just one box and it's going to be too small so the smaller your pattern in the um uv editor the less realistic your design is going to look like on um blender because it's also going to shrink your texture so let's close this and let's assume want to add um let me add i want to add a cap or something okay let's assume i want to add this this will fit in and i'll select add for me and select um image zero So I'll just delete I'm coming. Okay, this is this is one properly arranged here. Come on. 
delete this or let me go back to my simulation and delete that so select this delete then i'll need to select this let me see i'm coming and i need to select this five all of them i'm going to drag it away from here okay and let's move this up above the avatar i'm trying to break this down as easy as possible because i've gotten a lot of questions on this so let's simulate okay now okay let's say we are good to go with our cap or our beanie so go to your uv editor then we just need only the pattern of this um cap so let's just drag it into this place so this is it now since we have a lot of pattern this is just the best way to arrange your pattern if it's a one piece pattern but with a lot of um cuts or with a lot of pattern if it's a one piece design sorry with a lot of pattern then try to like spread them into um different boxes or mu multiple boxes you get so that's just the best way so that's the first thing you, you need to um keep in mind so let me just add fabric so that we can move to the um next thing so um i'll go to my fabric let me just add the neat mm, okay let me see back let me just try to add this let's assume i want to add this to the shorts too So now that we've added fabric to our um, design, also let me try to select the design and reduce the particle distance. Particle distance is also very, very important so that it won't look, it will, so that it won't look um, too um, thick or it won't give this realistic um, wrinkle, sorry. So you can select, it's not necessary for you can select seven for the short and then I'll probably select um, same thing for this one too, for the top. So I also do the same thing for the sweatshirts too. So I'll select this and also select probably uh let me select seven two. Then I'll simulate. Okay, I zoom the um effect that's taking place. So then select your space bar to stop the simulation. So the next thing we need to do is to export the file. That's step two. Export your file. And I'll advise you to export this file as Alembic. Don't export as OBJ. So export as Alembic Ogawa. So let's ask my, let me just save this as tutorial. So I'm only going to export the um, UV coordinates. I'm taking this, I'm not exporting the avatar. So don't take it. But if you want to export the avatar, then you can take it. Then only export current frame. You can see and select OK. So that's the second part. First one is to arrange your um, pattern properly on the UV editor. Use multiple tiles on your UV editor. It's very, very important. Then the second one is to export as Alembic and se by selecting current frame since it's not an animation file. But if it's an animation file, then you can do that. So the third thing you need to do now is to check all your fabrics. Look at the maps that uh, that your fabric contains you get so now this knit seven contains the diffuse yes the diffuse map this is the texture map then there's the normal map and the dis there's the displacement map because before i do omit the displacement map most time if you watch most of my tutorial i only mention diffuse and normal mark i always omit this um, displacement mark but then if you use the displacement mark that is what also adds to the realism of your um design on blender then when you check this rip can see this rib does not have displacement map so let's assume you're exporting something like this alone then you don't need the displacement map also this one too doesn't have a displacement map so the third thing you need to do is to check the uv map of 
all the fabrics you are using so that you'll be able to tick the necessary um, UV map in, um, on your UV editor when you are baking your um, texture. Because if you use OBJ to export this file, you might not be able to export um, the displacement map. I think it's only um, diffuse and normal map that pops up when you want to export your design as um, OBJ. So what we need to do next is to go to simulation, go to UV editor. So this is the third thing you need to take note. Take note of the um, UV map. Now the fourth thing we are going to do is to export the UV map now. So I think 4K is fine. You can extend it to 8K if you, you get, but 4K is fine. It's okay for a realistic um, design. Then also now you can see, now select your displacement. So make sure you're exporting diffuse normal and displacement depending on the map that are contained on your fabric. Then we are going to select the saving part. So let me just open this and um, new, let me just open a new folder and just use the tutorial because I want to save all the map inside. Then, So let me just say thought tutorial anyhow. So save it. Then I'm going to save this. So I will skip this part of the texture baking and then open your blender. We are going to move to blender right now. So blender is where we'll do the last thing to do, which is the shader aspect. Because we are going to be using the UDIM tiles to do this. Because that's the only way you can um import multiple tiles on blender so right now i am on blender because the texture is done baking so what i need to do is to import the cloth design so import then select alembic then i'm going to go to where the file was saved and um, this tutorial abc then import so as you can see this is the um cloth design so this is it here so what I need to do is to go to, let me just create something before I start adding the shader. So shift A, um, plane, scale it. Yes. Then let me just add a light on top. So I'm going to light, spotlight, GZ, and uh, Okay, let me use 20 then okay sorry 20 i'll just kill it yes then i'll go to this um use this and uh, i want everything to be fast so i'm doing all this so though i use turbo um this turbo add-on to render faster so search for it on youtube you get the add-on is free anyways so um then i'll go to my shader sorry shading then i'll scroll this then move to this so let's focus on this so let's add a new shader new then select the principal bsdf and drag so what I used to drag is by selecting, holding on the scroll button. So when you press the scroll button down, you can always drag your screen on, um, you can always drag on the shader um, viewport. So select the principal, principal BSDF, then select on your keyboard, Control Shift T, you can see. Then I'll go to the folder, go to the tutorial. I'm going to select all the file at once so all of them at once so hold on shift select the first file then hold on the last one select this and select principled um, bsdf so now the this might not look nice on it exactly so this is what i want to explain so we're going to be using the udim tiles so what the first thing i'm going to do is to change this from single image to udim tiles you do that for all of them so what i'll do here is to select this i'll select this so i'm going to select this then I'll select, since um, this is the diffuse, so select all the diffuse. Hold on control to select all the diffuse um, images. So I think we have one, two. Okay, yeah, this is the third one. So select open. It's going to be UDIM tiles, yes. 
so as you can see after um importing the texture i'm not getting the results that i want because it is giving me this um purple color which means that my texture is not uh, intact the same thing on cycle cycles is just showing all black so that means there's a problem with our texture so let me switch back to um the other viewport so what you need to do to fix um issues like this is to go to your texture folder so this is my texture folder so what you need to do next is to focus on the figures the numbers so let me switch from sort to name so that it can be arranged properly so as you can see there is 981 999 there's 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and these numbers are not in order. So from 991 to 999, it won't work out properly on Blender. So what you need to do is to use the figures that are in line with their numbers. So 991 and 999, though they don't have um, diffuse um, texture, they don't have any graphics in them, so we don't even need them at all. So let's delete that. So I'm going to be deleting this. So 1000 and 1000 and 2003 is fine as you can see it's fine we don't even need the 1011 because it's not needed so delete this then we'll go to the displacement to 991 we have to delete this too because the numbers are skipping we need numbers that are in order so if your numbers are not in order then you won't get a um, good result on um blender so we have 1001, 1002, 1003, which is fine. 1011, from 1003 to 1011, it's not in order. So we'll do the same here. 999, and we're going to delete 1009. Sorry. Select your control and delete that. So as you can see, the diffuse, the displacement, and the normals are in order. So what we need to do is to go back to Blender. Then i will let me just delete the whole stuff so i'm going to delete this and delete this then select the comments let me select the drop down back here select this and select Control shift t then select everything so let's wait for it to show the results so what i'll do next is to now select the um diffuse um open image select it then select only the diffuse um maps so this is diffuse 101 102 1000 and 1000 and 1003 hold on your shift and hold on this and select open that's the first thing you need to do let's wait for it to load as you can see it has been arranged properly so the second part we are going to do the same thing here to select only the displacement one two and three do the same it has switched to udim tiles then we'll do the same for the normals too. So as you can see, this is it. This is it here. So let's move to um, cycles. So it is looking weird in cycles. So I will assume that we might not need um, the displacement map because it's because of the displacement that is why it's looking like this on um, cycle. So what we, we can just drag down the um, displacement map coming. So if I move the displacement map, you can see. So this is how it looks like without the displacement map, which is not bad. So this is another way you can make your design look realistic and also um, improve the texture quality on um, Blender instead of shrinking everything into um, one box like what you can see on screen right now instead of shrinking everything into one box what you can do is just to um, spread them into um, different tiles manually so thank you for watching this video on clue 3d to blender don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell